<laughs> How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead. This episode, we Probably fuck shit up. Crawford is totally overrun by shit. All right, and we are going to what? The TV. Uh, I don't think I want to talk to anyone. Oh, paste. Yeah, I want that. No, I don't. Okay. Anyway, me and Molly, we're gonna go get a battery for the boat that we found. Clementine's in the house. And uh, we're doing pretty good actually. We're overrun by walkers, but it, it was. I'd rather deal with walkers than a bunch of elitist, armed, really buff dudes. None of them, will, none of which are sick and anything. Oh, oh, that scared me. Empty locker. The alleyway to the auto whoa, shop's whoa, whoa, down whoa. here. You coming or not? Scared the fuck out of me. I don't want to exit to the playground. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, toilet. Locked. Uh, didn't need to use the bathroom anyway. Why was that even an option? Climb? They've already been fired. They're worthless. Climb? Whoa, that's pretty bad. I hear something. Right, where did she go? Did she, did she go here? Molly! Where are you, Molly? Don't fucking run away and shit. Logan! Alright, that's a cool name. Too bad I don't know the combination to any of these. Break it! Break it. Can't open it without the combination. Break it. Hey! I think it's empty. Those Crawford people probably locked this stuff up somewhere. Okay. These camp. Oh, that scared the living shit out of me. What's up, guys? How are you guys doing? You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Where did Molly go? Do you guys see Molly? Did she come by here? Fucking bitch going all over the damn place. Well, she's hot, but. Yeah, I can go over here. But I hear the zombies, man. Don't you hear it? Uh, did she say? Yep, it's just getting louder and louder. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Molly, you out here? I don't shout. So I'm going that way. Auto shop must be down this way. Climbing the fence isn't an option. Damn. Herman's. This is the place I'm looking for.
Must be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. Damn, it's jammed tight. Get too close. Leave him. He's mine. Nice to see you. You got it. One more. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh yeah, that'll work. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Something you need? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop. Tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No. It just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not? Time's wasting. I'm going to have a look around. You do that. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. No power. That blinking must be an anti-theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect.
can't reach it up there. Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Did it. Whoa, whoa! That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. Stop complaining. Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. Stop complaining. Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? You sure you two don't need any help? We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Close all the way! Lady! 
Thanks. You got the fuel. Let's not start high-fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. Hey, how'd you guys make out? We got the fuel. Awesome. Good job, guys. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great, helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Fantastic! My microphone was plugged out the whole time, so there's no commentary again. <laughs> God damn it! Fucking microphone. <laughs> okay. Well, I've got uh, uh. Two minutes off. And there it goes. All right, guys. You know what? I'll end the video here. Get my microphone fixed again. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm really sorry about the quality of this episode. Um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Love it. Like and favorite if you like the video. And uh, subscribe if you like more videos, hopefully with some commentary, not just a uh, blank piece of shit. And uh, see you guys soon.